Hi guys, in this video, we will discuss some potential faults or issues that may occur when upgrading to Mac OS Ventura. So watch this video till end, also subscribe my channel and like the video. So let's start. First we discuss common issues. 1. Compatibility problems with older apps. 2. Installation errors or freezes. 3. Slow performance or lag. 4. Wi-Fi connectivity issues. 5. Display or graphics glitches. 6. Audio problems. 7. Battery life concerns. 8. Login or authentication issues. 9. File system errors. 10. Software update issues. Upgrade specific issues. Point 1. Incompatible firmware. 2. Insufficient disk space. 3. Corrupted installation files. 4. Power outages during installation. 5. Interrupted internet connection, app-specific issues. 1. Adobe Creative Cloud compatibility problems. 2. Microsoft Office issues. 3. Google Drive or Google Docs problems. 4. Other third-party app compatibility concerns. Troubleshooting steps. Point 1. Check Apple's compatibility lists. 2. Back up your data before upgrading. 3. Ensure sufficient disk space. 4. Disable any unnecessary apps or services. 5. Restart your Mac and attempt the upgrade. 6. Run the upgrade in safe mode. 7. Reinstall Mac OS Ventura from recovery mode. Pre-upgrade checklist. 1. Verify hardware compatibility. 2. Check app compatibility. 3. Backup important files. 4. Update all apps before upgrading. 5. Ensure stable internet connection. 6. Disable FileVal if enabled. 7. Prepare your Mac for the upgrade. Post upgrade tips. Point 1. Check for software updates. 2. Verify app compatibility. 3. Adjust system settings. 4. Monitor performance and battery life. 5. Report any issues to Apple support. Resources. 1. Apple Support, Mac OS Ventura. 2. Apple Forums, Mac OS Ventura. 3. Mac OS Ventura Compatibility List, 4. Apple's Upgrade Guide. To minimize potential issues, ensure you 1. Meet system requirements. 2. Prepare your Mac before upgrading. 3. Follow Apple's upgrade instructions. 4. Monitor the upgrade process. 5. Address any issues promptly. If you encounter problems during or after upgrading, contact Apple support or visit an Apple store for assistance. You can also ask in comments box your questions. I will try to reply you frequently. So now we end the video. Thanks for watching.